Hi guys, I'm here to talk about boxes, how to ship a, um, ship art in a box, how to do this. This is very frustrating. It almost cost me everything. It, it almost caused me to stop painting because it was so out of control. I had no idea what it's doing. But all it took was one person giving me this information. And now I have shipped over 500 boxes and we're good. So... Here's all the information I need you to know. I don't go into the retail stores. That's where I started and I don't go there anymore. I have an account online with UPS and it's a business account and what happens after you create that account is a representative will get in touch with you or you will get in touch with them and they will work out all the details of what you ship, um, how often you ship and what you ship. Um, for instance, for me, um, we came up with pricing based on the quantity that I ship and the size of the box and the weight. So we figured out that um, I mostly ship um, 24 big large canvas. So we based, they just work it out for you. Um, so I would recommend first starting a business account on UPS or FedEx, whichever one you want to use. I've done both and I love them both. Um, so the boxes, I use boxes from Uline and they are art boxes. They are um, narrow. Um, I buy them in bulk. They come on a pallet if they're too big because I, I ship a lot of large art. I don't paint small art. So I, I do large boxes and they come, um, it costs a little bit more money um, to have them shipped freight and dropped at your door in a big large truck. You've seen pictures of that on my Instagram feed. Um, but it's worth it because then you have them all there and you don't have to keep reordering. I That's where I get my tubes to ship my prints. I get everything at Uline. So these are art boxes. They're flat boxes. I'm gonna post links on my um, website here, but they have a narrow opening. So we don't have to worry about cutting down or building a box or whatever. It's just there. Like I'm all about um, spending time on the things that are gonna benefit me the most, like being creative and actually painting instead of spending the majority of my day trying to find cardboard and making a box. And it's just not worth it to me. So. I use the art box um, and what I do is, here's a piece of art, um, I, I order these bags. Um, I have them in several different sizes but usually one size can fit many different sizes of canvas. So I use an art bag and I just use that to protect the surface. Um, I used to, three years ago when I first started, I used to like saran wrap or I don't know what I, I did. I just looked at other what other people were doing. But this is way easier. And I wrap it so that just in case there is a leak in the box or something that it's protected from the, the weather. Um, so here. So I'm, I'm wrapping, up, wrapping up the box and I'm just going to like fold it over and tuck in the edges and, and there it is. And I'm going to just lay the painted edge, I'm going to lay towards the middle of the box um, so that the, the canvas, the canvas bars are facing back because I don't want the surface of the canvas to be sitting on the edge of the box. That's where I need the most protection. Now, I put this in here like this so you could see that there's space in here. And this space, I fill with newsprint. This newsprint um, that I buy from you, I used to buy from Uline, now I buy it from my local box company because it's just cheaper. Um, my other suggestion is to find a local box company because that's where you can just go to have specialty boxes made. I use Mission City Container in um, downtown San Antonio. And um, I just go there and buy the odds and ends that I can't buy, that I don't want to pay for extra shipping at Uline. Um, they also custom make boxes for me. If you have a piece of art, um, for instance, for, for, for me, the largest canvas I can ship 
ground UPS is a 48 by 48 box, um, which means that the box is going to be usually 51 by 52 by 4. And when you plug in the numbers into your um, account, you'll have, uh, the, it'll tell you, okay, it'll go forward in shipping or it'll say, no, stop, I can't, and this goes on freight, and I cannot ship, you cannot ship original art on freight. Um, so 48 by 48 is the largest canvas. There's so much information I have to share, I'm trying to remember it all. So then I just take the newsprint that I buy in bundles, and I just roll it, and I fill the void. Um, not too tightly, but I want it to be snug so it doesn't move. Now, here's the issue. I have so many people telling me um, or asking me if I bubble wrap. Um, why don't I bubble wrap? Well, the, it, the bubble wrap is very expensive, and it comes in a very large roll, and I don't have the room. I, I work out of my home, so I had to do what was best for my family because I ship a lot of art a lot the quantity is greater. Um, I, I paint a lot. I have a lot of volume. So I ship volume. I don't ship, you know, like one painting every six months that I sell for a large amount of money. So in that case, you could use bubble wrap. But for me, it just worked out this way. And I have to tell you, for all the people who are pausing right now, and even artists who may be watching this, I know I know I'm going to hear it, but I have literally shipped over 500 boxes this way, and I've had not one damaged ever. Uh, now, I know that partly the credit goes to God because I pray over every box, but I have not ever had a damaged canvas shipping it this way. So I fill the void with the paper. Um, and do you see how that is sort of going to work out like that? And I go all the way to the top. And then I just close the box and we put in the dimensions, we put in the customer's address and we hit print, we get a label. You can go into your local UPS store um, and get this UPS or FedEx and you can get the protective sleeves. I keep them here at my printing station and I, I keep like a hundred of them at a time here and you just fold them up and stick them on there. Um, all from my personal shipping account, business account, from the shipping website. Again, I do not go into a um, retail store to have anybody pack and ship. Those are retail prices. Those are, it's retail. And coincidentally, I get the supplies that I use to pack and ship my boxes from the same place that the UPS store gets their supplies to pack and ship boxes. Partly the reason why this has worked for me so much is not because I have any sort of um, privy to any information. I just worked so long to try and cut out the middleman. Like, I don't believe in hiring somebody to do something that you can do yourself well. So this has just worked for me. So we need the boxes. We need the newsprint paper. I use not like newspaper. I use newsprint. It's professional. It's clean. It doesn't smudge off. Like it looks beautiful. It holds up well. And we need the sleeves and we need tape. And I use a tape gun um, to tape my boxes. And it's literally all I do. And this is the noise you can hear in my house weekly going on. And if there is any other questions, um, please ask them on Instagram or on Facebook so that I can answer them just because this is such a headache uh, to do this. And believe me, once you figure out and get in your groove and you understand that nothing is going to happen, you'll keep doing it and you'll feel great about it. Here's another issue that one more before I go that I want to talk about. Um, you cannot insure original art the way you insure a product like a retail product. So when you're creating your um, your ticket for a customer, when you're putting in your information, 
and it gives you that box of how much you want to insure. Um, you, if something were to happen to the piece of art, you, I, I've never had this actually happen to me, um, but I have had this discussion with many people from UPS about how if you sold a piece of art for $1,500 and it got damaged, that UPS is not always going to give you $1,500 back because you cannot judge because original art is original art. You can't, there's no price value on it. It's, it's worth a dollar or it's worth a million. Um, so to them, they have this, their own structure. Now, so what I've learned is that you can insure for the price of the canvas and you can insure for the cost of the materials that it costs you to make the piece of art. So if you are shipping something that you cannot recreate or that is so precious and so worth it you need to find out other ways to insure it and you need to find there are companies who you can pay um, to insure artwork I know how all that goes I just um, I just I just don't I trust that my boxes are gonna get there I pray over them um, and I've had not one canvas damaged in the shipping process in over 500 boxes in two and a half years. So I just, I hope and pray that you trust this process, that it's like lifted a burden from you and that me sharing that it's not as big of a deal and not as big of a headache. It's, it's a box and it has a piece of art in it and we serve a God who wants to protect it and who loves you and who wants you to have a thriving business and who doesn't want you to worry. I have a funny story actually to tell you um, before I go. I, I know I said I was going to go, but before I go, m my own father doesn't even know about this. I painted him a skyline painting of Toronto and I had it shipped to him. And this was back when I first started painting. And I was very nervous every time I packed and shipped a box. And this is what the... This is what the Lord did for me. We were going to the zoo that day and I had the trunk open and the box sitting on the ground behind my car. Um, <laughs> and I thought my husband had put the box in the, um, in the trunk, but he didn't. It was sitting there and it was a miscommunication. I, maybe I didn't ask him. I don't know what happened, but I got the kids in the car and I shut the door and we rolled out of the driveway and as soon as I pressed reverse and I was going back in the car, I, I felt a bump and I started to panic and I got out of the car and I had run over the box with my car, the piece of art that I was shipping to my father. And I felt God tell me in that moment, see, this is your worst fear and I have made it happen and now you can see what happens. And can I tell you that the box was completely damaged. It had like tire marks on it and it had like creases and bends and I opened the box and the art wasn't even damaged at all. I ran over it with my car and I felt God telling me, I'm protecting it, I'm watching over it, you're praying over it, Melissa, I love you. I want you to do this. Everything's going to be fine. So I would encourage you to um, pray over your boxes and to pray over your business that that the Lord is in everything and that we trust him. So if you have any questions, um, let me know on social media and I will answer them. Thank you.